from Pearl Shaving, the hammer. We're going to have a shave with it coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and what shavers everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeStune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. We've got a brand new razor in the shaving den. Brand new on the market. It's being launched as we speak. It's from Pearl Shaving. My thanks to all the folks at Pearl Shaving for passing this along to me and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is. A brand new razor from Pearl Shaving. It's called the Hammer. This is a very, very substantial razor. It comes with two base plates. One closed comb, one open comb. The packaging is right here. Really, really terrific packaging. It flips up like that, and there's the razor. Here is the uh, open comb base plate right here. The, the closed comb base plate is already attached to the handle with the cap. It also comes with about four or five buffer rings. One was already installed. It does not come with blades. As far as I know, at least the one that they sent along to me did not come with blades. Here it is right here. How about that? This is a fully brass razor. It's completely made out of brass, cap, base plate, and handle from what I understand. Uh, the total height is 113 millimeters or 4.45 uh, inches. The weight is 151.22 grams. That translates to 5.234 ounces. It is really very, very substantial. The uh, height of the handle by itself is 102 millimeters or 4.02 inches. The handle weight by itself is 99.99 grams or 3.527 ounces. Now, the uh, weight of the razor head, the cap and the base plate for the closed comb base plate combined is 51.22 grams or 1.80 ounces. The closed comb base plate by itself weighs 34.09 ounces or 1.203 ounces. Uh, what did I say? Closed comb base plate is 34.09 grams or 1.203 ounces. Uh, the open comb, let me show you the open comb base plate right here. Okay, here is the open comb base plate right here. There's the uh, open comb base plate right there. And you can see it's really nice. I mean, they got the pearl name on the base base plate there and uh, made in uh, made in India right there. Isn't that nice? Really, really terrific looking. Beautiful satin plated finish. This uh, base plate weighs 34.41 grams or 1.1214 ounces. Together with the cap, it's 51.54 grams or 1.81 ounces. Again, it's fully made of brass and the plating is a matte finish. Really a nice satin matte finish kind of a plating. Really, really terrific. It has a barber pole like grip here. You can kind of see that it's very, very tightly woven for lack of a better word. And it really does afford a nice, nice grip. Overall, the shape is just very, very pleasant and pleasing to the eye. Some really, really nice rounded contours there. And it just overall has a really, really great look. It is a three-piece razor. And again, there's the buffer ring that came already installed. There's the handle there, okay? And here is the closed comb base plate right here. It really, boy, this is really substantial. There is a lot of weight at play here. Okay, so there is the base plate, the closed comb base plate like that. And here is the cap. So the uh, cap and the base plate are a post and hole kind of configuration. Okay, so they go together just like that. Uh, there is no slippage, no slop there at all. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be a really nice uh, fit, very precise. It looks like the razor blade is going to have uh, some nice alignment and balance. So we're going to go ahead and uh, install a blade right now. And we're going to have a shave with this with the closed comb uh, base plate uh, this time around. 
And uh, we're going to be using, well, here, I'll show you what razor blade I'm using here. I'm really excited to use the razor. We're going to be using a Wisimet Super Iridium razor blade. Razor blades did not come with this. I could use a uh, gentleman razor blade, but I chose to use the uh, Super Iridium. I like these a lot. They are nice and smooth. I like the plating and uh, just like the smoothness that, uh, that this uh, particular razor blade delivers. There it is right there. Okay, we're going to place that in there. Look at, look at how that just... Yeah, that is really, that's very, very a nice tight fit already from the, from the razor blade. And here is the, uh, the base plate here. It's going to fit in there like that. Okay, the end tabs of the razor blade are enclosed in the razor head. That is a nice feature. Let's get the uh, buffer ring right here. Okay, I'm going to put that in there like that. Okay, and we're going to... There we go, and that snugs up very, very nicely. So the balance and alignment, very, very nice. All right, and we'll get an idea as to the uh, aggression and the efficiency of it when we begin the shave. We're gonna be using uh, from Phoenix Shaving, Tokyo Rose. This is a marvelous, marvelous scent. With spring upon us, uh, right around the corner, this is an absolutely wonderful scent to celebrate the coming of spring. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm also going to be using my Shave Nation lathering bowl. I have some hot water in there. I also have some soap in there as well. We're going to be using the, uh, let me show you, I'll show you right here, the Pearl Shaving Brush, the American Pearl Shaving Brush right here. This is um, uh, a synthetic, synthetic imitation badger uh, brush right there is the pearl name on the bottom of it. Okay, this is really nice. The folks at Pearl also sent this along. Thank you very, very much. And we're going to finish it off with some uh, Tokyo Rose Aftershave Cologne and also uh, the um, Phoenix Shaving Mysterium Serum the mentholated version of this. I have a brand new bottle just arrived. And also the Allen Block, the No Slip Grip and the Dry Dock System. And we're going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0. And more importantly, <laughs> much more satisfying, or, or I should say a satisfying part of the kicking off the shape, a nice hot towel from the Hot Towel Cabinet. Thanks again to Jamie Horn. So let me wet the face. Let's get a hot towel. Let's get the shape going. Before I forget, I got two days worth of beard growth here. So we're gonna see how this particular uh, base plate uh, performs with two days worth of beard growth. If we're gonna need two passes, three passes, two passes and a touch up, that sort of thing, hang out, I'll be right back. Boy, that's nice. That's really, really nice. And again, I like I, I like the thin towels. I think a thicker towel retains heat a little bit more. But I'm getting used to slapping on a thin towel like that. It seems to be working pretty well, and I can wring it out just a little bit and use it to dry my hands. It's a little more a little more easy. It's a little easier to use than than the thicker towels so far. Let me push it that way. Hang on one minute. Let me move the uh, box and the base plate out of the way. Uh, as well as my razor blades. Get those out of the way so those, those don't get wet. Okay. And I'll put the soap out of the way too. Okay, good. Kind of got a clearing the deck right here. Let me splash my uh, face with water one more time. Just a quick splash. A little bit of the Cube 2.0 to uh, degrease the skin and clean things up. Okay, we're going to build a ladder after this. Okay, now that I got that step out of the way, we're going to go ahead and dump this hot water into the sink. And you can see a little bit of soap that I have there. And here's the brush from Pearl Shaving. And we're going to go ahead and whip up a lather. This is the Shave Nation lathering bowl. And it does a nice job of allowing you to kind of grab that soap from the bottom, that little bit of a pocket in the base of the bowl, and kind of bring it up around the inner edges, the, the inner diameter of the bowl, the sides of the bowl, 
to whip up your lather. It does a really nice job of that. And we're going to have to get a little more water. Here we go. This, uh, this brush handles very nicely. I have to find out which size knot this is. I want It's anywhere from a 22 to a 24. I'm not entirely sure. But we're getting a nice lather here. And again, the unique design of this bowl allows you to get that soap from the bottom and just kind of bring it up and around to build a lather. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this down here a little bit kind of get things going here so I can see what's going on. Lather will go a little more quickly. I want to show it to you on camera, but when it's in front of me like this, I get a better hold of it and I can see what's going on and I can build a lather a little more quickly. Okay, so we're doing that just like that. That's nice. That's really whipping up very, very nicely. So I'll also give you a little insight as to how this American uh, shave brush from Pearl Shaving uh, whips up a lather and how it paints on. Look at that. See how much I got there? Yeah, we're <laughs> we're almost there. That's fantastic. And I think this was probably the right amount of shave soap. It may have looked like a lot there, but it really wasn't. Just a little bit. And also the water softened it up a little bit. So, yeah, look, look, look. Look what I got already. Look at that. Boom! Lather! <laughs> yeah, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. There's a little bit of soap there, so I can always kind of work that up a little more if I'm running short. Really a neat feature of this particular lathering bowl. Let me wet the face and let's apply the cube. Okay, now we're going to apply this for my pre-shave. Now that my lather has been built. All righty. This is a very, very heavy laser. My God, it's over five ounces, over 5.2 ounces. Just over 5.2 ounces. I'll give that to you again. 151.22 grams total weight, 5.234 ounces. Wow, wow. I think it, I think it could be the heaviest razor I have uh, to date. I, I have to check the other, the weights of some of the other uh, razors I have. Okay, here we go. Look at that. And this scent is marvelous. But it's CK6, which is what I absolutely love because it uh, provides a lot of protection, a lot of slickness, and it really just makes a beautiful lather. And this brush is doing a nice job. Very nice. Nice and soft. Painting it on very nicely. Not a bad brush, not a bad brush at all. Pretty good. Did a nice job whipping up the lather and it's painting it on very nicely. Look at that. All right. Look, I got plenty in the bowl there and uh, I just want to make sure I get that there. Good. Marvelous. All righty. Here we go. We're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Got my blade installed. Take a look at it again. Okay. Align it and balance look to be spot on. We'll find out how mild or efficient or aggressive this is. All righty. Wow, that's good and hot. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's nice and mild. I mean, that does look like it's a rather intimidating blade exposure there, but that is nice and smooth and mild. And I'm letting the weight of the razor do all the work. The 
because this is really a very, very heavy razor. The Super Iridium blade is pairing up wonderfully with this razor. There's no tugging, there's no pulling at all. And uh, boy, this is a heavy, heavy razor. <laughs> it really is. The weight of the razor is doing all the work. I'm just using as light a, as light a touch as possible. Wow, that's that's really very efficient. That is very, very efficient. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the remainder on the east to west pass. The razor head is not as slim as some others I've used, but uh, it's still serviceable. But I'm going to get the remainder uh, on the east to west pass. I probably think it probably got, of course, it's two days worth of beard growth, too. Uh, so uh, that kind of comes into play as well. So um, I would say I probably got a good 70%, something like that. Uh, but again, two days worth of beard growth, so we have to allow for that. One day's worth of beard growth, I think I probably would have gotten a lot more. Probably would have been 85, 90%, something like that. All right, let's rinse. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, my gosh, I am darn close to being in darn fine shave territory. Very, very close to that. My God, I could, I, you know what? I could probably run out the door. That's a, that's pretty darn amazing. That's really, really efficient. Very, very smooth. We're going to lather up here for pass number two. My gosh, look how much lather I got here. It's just exploding off the brush. Look at that. That's marvelous. Man, that's great. Love this scent. This is a great, great scent. My gosh. Think, think rose. <laughs> it's beautiful. All right. I mean, Douglas named it right when he named it Tokyo Rose. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. I'm just checking this razor head, and it is solid. It has not loosened up at all. So here's pass number two, east to west across the grain. Again, no tugging, no pulling. I am really lightening up on my touch and letting this razor, the razor's weight, do all the work. Really. I, I mean... The weight is there. I'm not pressing at all. I'm letting the, ray, the weight of the razor do all the work. Uh, 
I think that's key with this particular razor. All right. Yeah, razor head is nice and solid. Some nice residual slickness from the lather allows me to do that. Yeah, that really got that really got everything up there. Nicely maneuverable on that east to west pass. Boy, that <laughs> that really that really did a number. I mean, really in a good way. Boy, that's terrific. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. The shave is done. I'm not kidding you. This shave is done. This. This razor has a high amount of efficiency, some wonderful smoothness, but the key is you let the weight of the razor do all the work. Uh, really, just a light touch in this razor, just, it, it does the shave. It, that's pretty darn amazing. Yeah, this, I don't, this is, this, this shave's done. No kidding. Yeah, everything on the upper lip, the chin, yeah. All right, here are my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Wow, that's, that's a really close shave. I'm not kidding you. That is, that's marvelous. That really is. All right, here is my cold water rinse. My gosh, that's beautiful. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. A really nice close shave. I mean, that's really, that's going to be BBS. I'm not kidding. That is really, really very, very close. Very efficient. I think they name it the hammer for a reason. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. I think this razor is probably deceptively aggressive. It's very, very smooth, but I think the level of aggression is really there. And uh, let me just, instead of using aggression, let me just say very, very efficient, very smooth. And I think the key here is you let the weight of the razor do all the work. You really have to. Oh, boy, that's a nice shave. My gosh, two days worth of beard growth knocked down in two passes. That says something about the efficiency of the razor. That's terrific. That really is. Wow. This is going to be BBS. It's already on my way to BBS. Really, really fantastic. Let's get the Allen block. Let's run this under some cold water and let's see where we're at. Okay. All right. Here we go. No stinging, no zinging, nothing like that at all. I notice a little bit of redness above my eyebrow. I don't know what that's from. That's not from any soap or anything like that. I don't know what that is. Just put a little, little, I'll put a little balm on there. Should be okay. All right. Wow, that is really, really terrific. No, very, 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 very smooth. Uh, no stinging, no zinging, smooth as ice. Very, very nice. There's the dry dock. 
There is the uh, Allen block like that. We'll let that uh, do all the work here. Let's take a look at the brush. The brush did a great, great job. Here it is here. Check that out. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. I have plenty for a third pass if I need it. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, fantastic. Really a beautiful, beautiful lather. Look, 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 look. Look at that. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's good, good stuff. CK6 is great, great stuff. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's uh, let's wrap this shave up with a little bit of the Tokyo Rose uh, after shaving cologne from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, yeah, oh boy, this is good stuff. Yeah. That's, boy, that's a, <laughs> that's a great scent, really. Spring around the corner, that's what you want, absolutely. And here's my new bottle of Mysterium Serum right here. All right. Yeah, just brand, yeah, brand new. I gotta get that pump going. There it is, there it is, okay. Okay, about that much right there for upstairs. I do need a head shave. We'll get to that down the road. And I'm gonna get a little bit of this because it's fragrance-free, but it is mentholated. That is the Mysterious Serum is, is fragrance-free, but it's mentholated. I'm going to put a little bit of that Tokyo Rose, so I have a little bit of scent up there, like a scented balm. Oh, that's great. Wow, great, great shave. That is really, really something. This is uh, really a very, very, very efficient razor. My gosh. Uh, now, I, I got to tell you, this is... Uh, my first shave with the closed comb base plate. My first shave, hang on, let me get it for you. My first shave was with the uh, open comb. And I did not know what to expect. This open comb was more aggressive than the closed comb. Uh, I think when I used this uh, particular base plate, the closed comb, I think I used a little too much pressure. I didn't allow for the weight to do the, uh, to do the work. And I... Caught a little bit of a nick, nothing major, but it really told me you gotta gotta pull back a little bit and let the weight of this razor do all the work. It is very very efficient, and I had two days worth of beard growth, and uh, you know this closed comb base plate really did the job. I mean, it really, really did. Two passes and I'm good. Now, if you have a more demanding beard, the closed comb is probably going to get the call from you. I think this might be a little too much for me. I'm going to have to modify my uh, uh, my technique. As I say, when I first used this, you know, oh yeah, yeah. And I think I used a little too much pressure, which is why I caught that nick. It kind of caught me off guard. The rest of the shave went very, very well. It's just that I did modify my technique and I let the weight of the razor do all the work. So I think it was operator error on my part because I was not allowing for the extra weight that this razor has. You let the weight of the razor do all this work. All the, You let the weight of the razor do all the work and it's going to deliver a great shave for you. Look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Okay, look here, look here. See, I got a couple of phantom nicks right here. And that tells me, right there, see that? Those are going to close up. Those are just like little, little, itty bitty nicks. That's, uh, that's going to close right up. They're already coagulating from the, uh, from the alum block. Uh, so that, again, that is very, very efficient. The thing is, this is very, very smooth. Some highly aggressive and highly efficient razors, you get, um, you, 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 can, you can feel that. This one is really, really smooth. That's why I think it's just a wonderful razor in the smoothness that it delivers and the high efficiency. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's terrific. Just let the weight of the razor do all the work. Really a remarkable, remarkable, wonderful razor. And uh, yeah, it's <laughs> if you have a demanding beard, uh, a little more demanding than mine, I think this is this razor is going to do a wonderful, wonderful job for you. Now, for me, it's probably going to be, I'll be honest with you, it's probably, probably going to be closed comb for me all the way. Uh, I had two days worth of beard growth. If I have, say, a week's worth of beard growth, the open comb is definitely, definitely going to get the call because I think it will really, really take care of uh, my beard with that much hair growth. 
and I think it'll be a perfect, uh, perfect uh, base plate uh, to, uh, you know, the, to, to start to shave off with. I would think that after my first pass with the open comb, I would switch to the closed comb to complete the shape. That's just a guess on my part, but I think that's what I would do. And again, just a couple of small, uh, three small phantom nicks here. Again, they'll close up. I'll put a little more alum on there, a little more balm, and they'll be fine. But uh, overall, it's just a really, really close, close shave. My gosh, and whatever this was down over here, I didn't feel it. That's how smooth this razor is. It is very, very smooth, really, really efficient. If you want to use the word aggression, that's fine, but I'm going to use the word efficient because it's so smooth. The efficiency is so high. Let the weight of the razor do all the work, gentlemen, especially with the hammer. This really is a remarkable razor. If you have a demanding, demanding beard, give this one a try, because either the uh, closed comb or the open comb is going to work for you. I mean, uh, really, <laughs> really terrific. Uh, I think the next time I use the closed comb, I'm going to lighten up on my uh, uh, my technique again, uh, even a little bit more than I did with this one. Really, lighten up on your touch and uh, maybe give myself uh, another day or two beard's growth uh, and see how that does. Uh, yeah, because I think this, this is really, really an efficient, efficient razor, but the smoothness is really, really remarkable. The Wisdomet Super Iridium Blade was perfect for this razor, in my opinion. And I look forward to using some other platinum-coated blades out there, like the Gillette Swedes, the um, PAA, Platinum Strangelet Blades, the uh, Gillette Platinum Blades, and some others that are out there. Uh, I think that they'll just pair up so very, very nicely with this. So looking forward to trying some other blades with it. So that's it. The uh, Hammer from Pearl Shaving, a very, very smooth performing razor. Uh, it comes in at an incredible 5.2 ounces or 151.22 grams. It is really a substantial razor, and it is highly efficient and incredibly, wonderfully smooth. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so to give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisans, soap makers, and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.